All right, so for this problem, we have 75x cubed minus 27x. And remember, we want a factor, so we need to write this as a product of its factors. So the first thing we always want to look into is seeing what is there any common factors they share. And did you find one? Close, but we. What do 75 and 27 share? 3. And they both have an x, so we can actually factor out an x as well. So when I factor out a 3x, that means when I divide out a 3x, I'm left with 25, 25x squared minus 9. All right? Now, usually a lot of times we've been dealing with when we have three terms, right? And you guys worked on the three terms. You have a times c, and then that adds up to your b. However, when we worked on two terms, if you guys remember in our notes, two terms, we always want to look for if we had a difference of two squares. So when we had two terms, you want to look for what the difference of two squares was. So the difference of two squares, if you guys remember, was stated that if you had a squared minus b squared, that equaled a minus b times a plus b. So we look at this. Is this the difference or subtraction of two square numbers? Is 9 a square number? Yes. yes. Is x squared a square number? Yes. yes. Is 25 a square number? Yes. yes. So what I can do is I can rewrite this as 5x minus 3 times 5x plus 3. Well, if remember, remember, when we factor it out, that means all you gotta do is multiply them to get back to it. So does 5x times 5x give you 25x squared? Yes. Does negative 3 times positive 3 give you negative 9? Yes. Does negative 3 times 5x give you negative 15x? And does 5x times 3 give you positive 15x, which go out to 0? Right? That's where we don't. Yeah, so this is your factored form right there. That's your answer right there. No, you could. You can do, well, it's a big number. You've got to do 25 times negative 9. OK? You do 25 times negative 9, and then they add up to give you 0, which you could totally go and do it, but I'm not going to go through the whole method with you. You guys just need to look for, excuse me, whoa, 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 excuse me. You guys just need to look for the shortcuts, look for the shortcuts like difference of two squares that can help you out. But I'm not going to show it for the video just because I don't want to make it too long um, to go through. But yeah, you certainly could have done it the other way that we worked on it. You'd put 0 in for b, multiply a times c, add to b. But look for these shortcuts of difference two squares. That was why I showed you guys that factoring technique so you guys can look for those. Okay.